Hello folks, so today I'm going to play the song by New Edition, Can You Stand the Rain? I'm going to actually break down the chords on acoustic and uh, hope this song will you know, help somebody that's been wanting to learn it. Uh, I know it's taken me a while to kind of fill some spaces with these chords. It's easy to just play the old you know, honky-tonk style, but uh, there's a couple chords in here that, that uh, make it very pretty to voice the keyboard. And I want to share that with you. So basically, you have to have a capo, put it in the first fret um, to get the right key. I'm going to play the same shapes um, without the capo. And so the first chord, you know, we have this uh, mod modified G. And so it's a bass note here on the, on the third fret with these two. So that's in the beginning, you know, when it's like... Whoo like that, right? So those chords, it's that modified G, right? And then you drop down to what's, just drop this whole thing down, anchoring these two, these two. You know, sometimes you don't need that bottom when you can lift the pinky. So. Now, that's a C2, this one, the second one that I did from here. So that's everything the same, but dropping it to these two. D string, index finger, second fret. Um, a string, third fret, middle finger, and then... You could anchor those two down there and keep it there. Okay. Now, the next chord is a D over F, and you toggle your thumb and your ring finger. You lift this one, too, so you go. Right? So up close, it's just kind of... Now we're going to add this this little uh, note here, so it'll go. So if you're not anchored, you don't need actually need that. You could, once in a while, it'll go. So that's the fourth fret in the um, peaky in the fourth fret on the yeah, G string. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we have that bit beginning anchored down. Now, the first chord on the keyboards, it's this uh, E minor shape, right? So then we go come here, and then we add our ring finger on the bottom E string, second fret, and then our pinky finger on the third fret in, in the um, third fret on the B string. Right? So it sounds like this. Right? On a perfect day, instead of On a perfect day On a perfect day, it's Kind of comes down to that, you know. On a perfect day I know that I can count on you Okay? So that that pretty chord there, and then the, again the C2 to the D, okay? That's the first verse, um, just those chords. Watch this one, now it goes to E7. D over F. Okay, so that is E7 because I need some D over F body who will stand or stand 
that's a C over two, La, Mi, D. So there's four, three chords and four changes. So it's E seventh, need some D over F body who will stand by me, right? To D, from C2 to D. When it comes time, she won't run. She will always. Here's that pinky. Always be right there. Right? Now we're sunny, the sunny days part. So we stay in D over F. So it's So it's just sunny days. So you're back and forth between F F open, it's called a D over F. <laughs> and then you go to that chord, right? It's partial G. So everybody knows now. Tell me, baby, can you stand away? So that, those are just, you stay right there in the over F, the D over F. Toggle back and forth on these bass notes while you're ringing open. Uh, so it's uh, Well, I hit that E minor, but it's Now, when you're playing, you know, that, you know, it's a keyboard, so some of it's sustaining the chord. So if you just kind of hold it like, you know, you don't have to like strum all the way, you know, you just gotta have to have the timing on it, right? So that's that's the whole song. At, at the end, it, it does this, uh, Ralph Transvin, I think his name is, he kind of just, woo! He does that, and 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 you're playing just kind of. Same as you were before. Um, can you? Can you? Right. Da, 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 da. Now. There's a electric guitar um, that you can play along with. Um, I think I hear it faintly. There's like a couple little runs in there. But um, if you were to play along, you know, with an electric, you could use these half chords here. Instead of playing a full bar chord, you could do this uh, partial. And that's covering these two uh, bottom strings, middle finger on the G and your ring finger on the D string, spanning three frets. So you would be like... Right? On electric, it's easy for me to hit those notes, but it's here, here, so it's... Third fret with the capo here, and the first fret, I guess you'd be, I don't know where you'd be, but you'd be um, probably here. Same shapes. So you're just playing these shapes. I notice I'm biting my lip. 
So that could be a indication that uh, I got to work on that part a little bit more. But you know, basically those are the chords here. So that is just that part is in the uh, seventh fret. You're barring all four, and then you're hammer on on the, the B string. to five right so that's just playing along with you know right so there you go hopefully that's been helpful uh, to uh, get this you know get some of these chords down which I've worked so hard to like get the right kind of sound for this song um, because it's, you know, it's not a lot of, like, over-strumming, you know, it's just kind of, you know, if you're playing it on acoustic, you don't want to over-strum it, just kind of, just faint. Right? Right? So there you go. Thank you. Have a good one.